the latter x and y represent rectangle coordinates. Write the equation using polar coordinates r comma theta. We are given that x y equals to 1 and we know that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. So the first step that we should do is plug in the values of x and y. We get r cos theta times r sine theta equals to 1. Since we have two r's, it's going to be r square cosine theta times sine theta equals to 1. We multiply both sides by 2 because we want sine 2 theta and we know that is equals to 2 sine theta times cos theta. So our final answer is r square sine 2 theta equals to 2. The rectangular coordinates of a point are given find the polar coordinates for the point. We're given that x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 3. The formula for rectangular to polar is r equals x square plus y square in radical. The first step is to do is plug in the value of x and y in the radical form which I got negative 3 square plus 3 square which equals to radical 18 broken down radical 9 times 2 radical 9 is equal to 3 radical 2 Step 2 is to find the theta. So the formula to find the theta is tan y over x. So our y is 3 and x is negative 3. 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. So theta is 3 pi over 4 which gives our answer 3 radical 2 comma 3 pi over 4 solve the triangle around lens to the nearest tenth and angle measure to the nearest degree so we are given a triangle which has three sides and they're equals to a equals to 8, C equals to 4, 6 equals to B. To find the angle measure of this triangle, we need to use law of cosines. To find the angle ma measure of A using law of cosine, the formula is A square equals b square plus c square minus 2 times b times c times cos a plug in the values for a b and c into this formula which i got 8 square equals 6 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 6 times 4 cos a 8 square equal to 64, 6 square equals to 36, 4 square equals to 16, 2 times 6 times 4 equals to negative 48. 36 plus 16 equals to 52, so I splatted 52 from both sides. 64 minus 52 equals to 12. 12 gets divided by negative 48 which gave me negative 1 over 4. Inverse of 
cosine of negative 1 over 4 equals to 1 of 4. So angle measure of A is equals to 1 of 4. Since we have uh, found the angle measure of angle A, we could now use the law of sines. We know that sine A equals to 1 of 4 and A equals to 8. We don't know sine B yet, but we know the side B. And to use the law of sines, we actually need three terms. sine 1 of 4 divided by 8 equals to sine b divided by 6. Here I did cross multiply and I got 6 sine 1 times 1 of 4 divided by 8 which gave me 0 0.727 and sine inverse of 0 0.727 equals 247 now we have found the angle measure of A and angle measure of B and in it triangle we know that the triangle equals to 180 so to find the angle measure of C what I did is 180 minus 151 equals to 29 so here we have found all the three angle measures for A B and C a is equal to 104, B is equal to 47, C is equal to 29. Use the information given about the angle theta to find the exact value of the indicated trigon trigonometric function. Cosecant theta equals 13 over 5. Looking at the unit circle, we have the cosecant theta in the second quadrant and we have to find cos 2 theta the inverse of cosecant theta is sine 5 over 13 so we draw a triangle in quadrant 2 where our adjacent is 5 Opposite is 12, hypotenuse is 13. And to find cos 2 theta, we have to use double angle formula, which equals 2, which equals cos 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine square x. We know that our sine is 5 over 13. Squ uh, square, uh, squaring 5 equals to 25. S squaring 13 equals to 169. So we have 1 minus 2 times 25 over 169. 2 times 25 equals to 50. So what we have is now 1 minus 50 over 169. Keeping the same denominators, you multiply 1 by 169. 169 minus 50 equals to 119 over 169 as our final answer.
find the indicated term using the given information. We are given 11, 9, 7 and A28. Just for the quick note, A1 equals the first term, AN equals as the last term. So here we could see a common difference. 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So the common difference is negative 2. So we have D as in our common difference which is equal to negative 2. Our A1 which is our first term is 11 and AN which is our last term is 28. So we're going to use common difference arithmetic sequences formula which is AN equals A1 plus D times N minus 1. Just plug in the values in these formulas and we have A28 equals 11 minus 2 parenthesis 28 minus 1 which gives us 28 minus 1 is 27 11 minus 2 times 27 equals to 11 minus 54 which gives our final answer negative 43.